how to crochet a spider web of any size in this step-by-step -step tutorial. You will need fine sport weight yarn or you could use double knit instead. Use a 3.5mm crochet hook or the size recommended on your ball band. To shape your crochet spider web you will need a foam blocking mat or something you can pin your web to, plenty of pins, fabric stiffener or starch and some plastic to stop your spider web sticking to your blocking mat or messing it up. Let's get started. You can't see crochet stitches in black yarn so I'll crochet with a bright colour instead. Round 1. Start with a magic circle. I have a short demo for that linked below and on screen now. Make four single crochet stitches into the circle. Pull it closed and make a slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. Now you have a little circle with four single crochet stitches. Round 2. Make 5 chain stitches. The first 3 chains count as a double crochet stitch and 2 more chains. Do a double crochet stitch right beside these chains into the stitch lying under your slip stitch. Then do two more chains. So now you have one double crochet and two chains and another double crochet and two chains all in the first stitch. Just repeat this three more times for the other stitches. I'll show you the full round so it's really clear. Double crochet into the next single crochet stitch and chain two. Then double crochet into the same stitch again and chain two again. We're halfway there already. Double crochet into the next stitch and chain two. Double crochet into the same stitch and chain two more. Now make a double crochet in the last stitch. Chain two double crochet again and chain two. Finally Make a slip stitch in the third of the five chains you started with to join and finish the round. Now you have a little wheel with eight double crochet spokes with two chains between them. Round three. Make seven chains. The first three chains count as a double crochet stitch and then you have four chains. Make a double crochet stitch in the first double crochet stitch. And then make four chain stitches. Now do a double crochet stitch in the second double crochet stitch. And make another four chains. So your first seven chains represent a double crochet and four chains and then you do a double crochet and four chain stitches in each double crochet stitch around. Seven times in total. So here's the seventh repeat. Make a double crochet into the last double crochet stitch and chain four. Now just like the last round, make a slip stitch into the third chain to join and end the round. So now it looks more like a flower with eight double crochet stitches each separated by four chains. Round four follows the same pattern. We just add two more chains everywhere. So start by making nine chain stitches. These count as a double crochet stitch 
and 6 chains. Just like the last round, make a double crochet stitch in the first double crochet stitch. This time add 6 chains instead of 4 though. Repeat this in the next double crochet stitch. Make a double crochet and chain 6 again. Repeat in each double crochet stitch around. That's 7 times in total. Then join with a slip stitch in the third chain you started with to end the round as usual. So each round is just 8 double crochet separated by 2 more chains each round. Round 5 is the final round. Start by chaining 11. This counts as a double crochet stitch and 8 chains. Make a double crochet into the first double crochet stitch as usual. But this time add 8 chain stitches. Do the same thing in the next double crochet stitch. Do a double crochet stitch and chain 8. Repeat this in every double crochet stitch around. That's 7 times altogether. Finally, make a slip stitch in the third chain you started the round with to finish. That's all the crochet done. But you can keep going to make a bigger web if you like. Just follow this formula. In every round, add 2 to the starting chains and the chains after each double crochet. So start round 6 with 11 plus 2 equals 13 chains and do 8 plus 2 equals 10 chains after each double crochet. And start round 7 with 15 chains and do 12 chain gaps and so on. But for a 5 inch spider web, bind off now and weave in your two ends. Now it's time to turn our lacy flower into a spider web. Here's my black version which already looks more spooky. You need fabric stiffener or starch to shape your spider web. I've linked to mine in the description. It comes in a spray, but I find it works best pouring a bit into a container instead. Wet your crochet in the stiffener. Move it around a bit to make sure it soaks enough up and is well covered. Gently squeeze your crochet to remove the excess. Get a foam blocking mat or similar and cover it with a bit of plastic to protect it and stop your crochet from sticking to it. Lay your crochet on the plastic so that there's roughly vertical and horizontal crochet lines through your web. You'll need lots of pins. Place the first pin right in the middle. Then gently pull the top centre point of your web up as far as it will stretch and pin the top. Repeat this for the bottom point. Now stretch and pin the left and right edge points to make a diamond shape. Finally, stretch and pin the four diagonal points. You may need to tweak a couple of points to make it even on all sides. You can stop here if you like. But for a classic curved spiderweb look, add more pins. Use a pin to gently pull the centre of each segment towards the middle of the web and stick the pin in to curve the line. For the longer lines around the outside of the web, you'll need two pins. Use a pin about a third of the way along a line to pull it towards the middle and stick the pin in. Repeat about a third from the end of the line. Tweak if needed so you get a nice curved shape for the outside edges. Here's how it looks with half a straight line web and half a curved web to help decide which you prefer. Once you finish pinning, leave your web to dry. 
The longer the better really. I leave mine overnight, but you could speed up drying with a hair blow dryer. When you think it's ready, just remove a few pins first to check it's fully dry and stiff. Then remove all the pins and ta-da! Your spooky spider web decoration is complete. I hope you enjoy making it. Got any questions? Just comment below. Thanks for watching.